In this video, we will configure and run the Xenon Smart Server. The Xenon Smart Server allows users to connect to the Xenon Service Engine through a web browser, such as Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. Prior to installing the Xenon Smart Server, you'll need to activate the Internet Information Services, also known as IIS. This is activated in the Windows Control Panel under Programs and Features. Once the dialog is opened, click Turn Windows Features On or Off, and then check Internet Information Services. Once IIS is installed, the Xenon Smart Server is now ready to be installed. Like the Engineering Studio and the Service Engine, the Smart Server will need to be installed from the Xenon ISO file. It can run independently from the Service Engine server or on the same PC depending on the license. For this example, I will run it on the same PC as the Xenon Service Engine. If you have already installed the service engine, you may have already installed the smart server as it will install by default when selecting Engineering Studios and Xenon Software. Otherwise, you will need to install it through the customized installation in the Components prompt. Once the smart server is selected, it will run through the installation. Now that it's completed, the project can be configured to work on the web. In the Engineering Studio, Open the project you would like to run on the smart server. Access its properties by selecting the project's name in the project tree. These properties will appear in a window at the bottom of the Engineering Studio. Navigate to the Network category and check the Network Active box. Under Server 1, type in the hostname of the server that will be acting as the primary server, both for the service engine and the smart server. If you have a secondary server, enter the hostname under Server 2. The service engine can now be started. Once the project is set up, a file named globalvars.js will need to be configured to include the hostname of the smart server and the service engine, as well as the project's name. This file is located under C, inet pub, www root, xenon, config, and it can be opened in a text editor, such as Notepad. The project's name must be entered under project name, and since I am running the service engine and the smart server on the same machine, I will enter that hostname under both Runtime Server and Web Server. Make sure that you use the hostname as an IP address is not accepted by the Smart Server. Now that it's been configured, the Smart Server can be started. Once opened, there are a few options available. Start, Stop, Refresh, and License Manager. To license a Xenon Smart Server, you can either click License Manager on the Smart Server tool, or open the License Manager from the Start menu in the Copa Data folder. The license will be activated in the same way any normal license would. While your service engine is running, click the Start button. This will make the project available to anyone who has the link to the Smart Server. To install and access a Smart Client, open the Smart Server web page in any web browser, which is formatted as such. Three options will be available to you. Start the Xenon Smart Client as a new process. This allows access to the Smart Server on all browsers, excluding Internet Explorer. Start the Xenon Smart Client Embedded. This allows access to the Smart Server exclusively on Internet Explorer. Install the Xenon Smart Client. Click the Install Xenon Smart Client button, which will start a download of the installation application. After it's installed, you can access the Smart Client through one of the two options made available, depending on your web browser. Once a client has synced with the server, the Xenon Service Engine can now be viewed or interacted with depending on the license. More information such as required components and compatibility can be found in the help under Manual, Xenon Smart Server. If you need any technical assistance with setting up and running the Xenon Smart Server, you may contact your local Copadata support or sales departments which can be found on copadata.com.